The Geminid meteor shower, always a favorite among annual meteor watchers, is expected to peak in 2021 on the night of Monday, December 13th into Tuesday, December 14th. The Geminids are a reliable shower for those who watch around 2 a.m. And this year, a waxing gibbous moon will be above the horizon during peak time for viewing, but it will set shortly afterwards, leaving the sky dark for watching meteors. Thus, the best time to watch for Geminid meteor hours this year is likely before dawn, say around 3 a.m. to dawn on the morning of the 14th. And you need to be looking near Gemini, near Castor and Pollock, specifically Castor, where the Geminid meteor shower radiant is in the sky. It's somewhat of a narrow window for meteor watching, but it is a wonderful show and typically does not disappoint. On a dark night near the peak of the shower, you can often catch 50 or more meteors per hour. On an optimum night for the Geminids, it's possible to see 150 meteors per hour. A new moon on December 4th means that the peak of the shower coincides with the moon just a few days past first quarter phase. And on the evening of December 13th, the moon will be more than 77% lit and already above the horizon as darkness falls. But the moon will set 2 or 3 a.m., depending on where you are, and that leaves a couple of hours of darkness for good viewing of the Geminids. Now, the Geminids come from the parent body here, 3200 Phaethon, which we've recently, back in 2017, imaged. This giant egg like asteroid has broken up in times past and now rains down from the heavens on a regular periodic pattern. And we call them, well, meteor showers. Now a newly discovered comet, Leonard, is going to fly by Earth also in a once in a lifetime event. The comet was discovered earlier this year and is expected to fly by Earth next week. We don't have any pictures, but we do. We have Comet Leonard here and some Aurora in a spectacular photograph taken just a few days ago. Earth Sky describes C-2021 as likely to be 2021's best comet and its brightest comet by year's end. Comet Leonard, also known as C-2021, will make its closest approach to Earth on December 12th, according to NASA. Now, the comet was discovered earlier this year by Gregory Leonard, hence its name. And you can see Comet Leonard right down there in the night sky. Despite being one of the biggest comets to pass by the planet, Leonard might still be tricky to view, at least without a small telescope or some binocs. After all, even its closest point to Earth, C-2021, will still be more than 21 million miles away. But distance aside, Comets are notoriously difficult to predict in terms of brightness and visibility. Comet Leonard is predicted to peak at its brightness and will probably require binoculars to spot it. There's a chance it could be bright enough to see with the unaided eye. But again, with comets, you really never know. And if there is a, let's say, a CME that comes off the sun headed the way of this comet, it might illuminate tenfold or more. We have a little video, I think you, you'll like to watch here on both of those topics what's up for december your early evening highlights a chance to catch a comet and the annual geminid meteors on december 6th through the 10th look westward following sunset for the moon visiting venus saturn and jupiter in turn the moon's crescent fills out as it appears higher in the sky each evening over the course of the week Enjoy the view of dazzling Venus as our evening star while it lasts, though. Our cloud-covered neighbor planet will sink ever closer to the horizon during the month, disappearing for most of us by New Year's. It'll reappear in late January as a morning planet preceding the sunrise and won't be back in evening skies until December of next year. Next in December, there's a recently discovered comet on its way into the inner solar system that might be worth trying to observe. It's known as Comet Leonard, and it'll be at its closest to Earth on December 12th, just a couple of weeks before it reaches its closest distance from the Sun. Now, comets are notoriously difficult to predict in terms of brightness and visibility. Comet Leonard is predicted to peak at a brightness that will probably require binoculars to spot it. There's a chance it could be bright enough to see with the unaided eye, but again, with comets, you really never know. 
In the first couple of weeks of December, Comet Leonard can be found in the east before sunrise, passing between Arcturus and the handle of the Big Dipper. It approaches the horizon right around the time of its closest approach to Earth, meaning it'll likely be brighter but more challenging to observe. It then switches over to being an evening object after around December 14th for just a little while after the sun sets, as it begins its long haul outward from the sun again, progressively fading in brightness. Finally, the Geminid meteors are a highlight of December skies each year. This year's meteor shower peaks overnight on December 13th and 14th. Apart from the weather, the phase of the moon is usually the main factor in whether a meteor shower will have good viewing any given year. This year, the moon will be almost 80% full at the peak of the Geminids, which isn't ideal. However, that bright moon will set somewhere around 2 a.m. wherever you're located, leaving a couple of hours for meteor watching before dawn. The meteors appear to radiate from the constellation Gemini, which you'll find high in the west. Now, while most annual meteor showers are caused by Earth passing through trails of dust-sized particles of comet debris, the Geminids are one of the few meteor showers that are caused by debris from an asteroid that crosses Earth's orbit, in this case, one called Phaethon. Recently, NASA scientists shared findings that suggest the difference between an asteroid and a comet might be less clear than we realized, with fizzing sodium on Phaethon playing the same role as vaporizing ice on comets. And whether you catch a glimpse of Comet Leonard or meteors from asteroid Phaethon, both are reminders of the deep connections between Earth and the rest of the solar system that we discover because we look outward and we explore. And come over here to NASA's JPL and give them a thumbs up for that video. Very comprehensive and just fantastic. And here we can see an amazing video just coming out of the movement of Leonard over the last few days. Absolutely fantastic. We'll leave you links below. Hope you got something out of the video. Go out and look up. There's a lot to see and a lot to learn. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. And be safe. We love you. And that's a boom to knowledge. Mm -hmm.